Hey guys, Dragon Assassin here. Today, I figured I would redo an old video. A while ago, I uploaded a video called My Cat is Turning Into a Girl, in which this dude actually believed his cat was turning into a girl, which wasn't the case at all, just saying. And I want to redo that video. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Hey everyone. My name is Michael, and I am a real fan of animals. Since my childhood, I had spent a lot of time reading books about them, asked my parents to take me to the zoo regularly, and, of course, begged them to buy a pet for me. Okay, seems normal so far. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's see how the rest of this goes. And finally, they gave me a cat. Today, I will tell you a strange story about how my cat started to turn into a human. Never mind that this guy is already starting to go insane. Buddy, I guarantee that your cat isn't turning into a girl. You're probably just high or tired. I'm gonna skip ahead a bit because it's, now it's just this dude telling his life story and giving a couple reasons why his parents wouldn't let him have a pet when he was younger. So I'm just gonna skip forward a bit. A month ago, I was given a black cat. I named her Betty. My parents got her from the animal shelter, so she was a little scared. We soon became friends. Okay, off topic, but are those fucking lightsabers on your wall? That's awesome. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled stupidity. Betty moved into my room. She was nice to me more than to anyone else. I mean, yeah man, you're her owner, why wouldn't she be? But then, I began to notice that Betty was behaving a little strangely. She started to hide from me in the closet and in other dark places of the house. But that's not weird, that's just how cats are. That's how all pets are. That's nothing to be worried about, dude. Trust me. I did not pay much attention to this, assuming that Betty was simply adapting to a new place of living and a little worried about the change of scenery. See? Told you it was nothing to worry about. Skipping ahead once more. Veterinarians believe that cats should not be given human food, but I decided it was better to give her harmful food than to just let her die from hunger. Or you could, oh, I don't know, train her to eat her own food. That's an option. And then it happened. That night, I slept restlessly because Betty left my bed for several hours. I began to worry because, since the day she got to our house, Betty used to sleep only in my room. Maybe she just had to go to the bathroom. It's not that serious, dude. So I got up and went to the kitchen to find Betty. What I saw there impressed me deeply. A girl with black hair was standing by the refrigerator. She was eating our sausage and muttering something to herself. This is where this dude goes full lunatic and thinks it's his cat. I collected myself and turned on the light to get a better view of the night thief. The girl shuddered and turned to me. It had immediately come to my attention that she had an unusual eye color. Her eyes were yellow. I have never seen such eyes before. At that moment, I assumed that the strange girl was wearing contact lenses. Because she is. I asked the girl who she was and what she was doing in our house. In response, she closed the refrigerator and sat down on a chair. I'm sorry, bro, but what is that animation? That is the wonkiest looking animation I've ever seen. That looks like something somebody who was just starting animation would animate. And meet my story, uh, the guys who put this video out, has 478,000 subscribers. Who did you hire to animate that segment? I discovered that she was wearing a strange dress that looked like a fur coat. Hey, I'm sorry. I saw the opportunity and I took it. My name is Lana, she said, but I didn't recognize the name. Why did she tell me her name? What did she mean? What do you mean, what did she mean? She told you her name, dude. What did you think she meant? Psych, my name is Willy Wonka from The Incredibles. No, dude. No. I was really very close to calling my parents and the police. What if this girl took not only the sausage from us, but something more valuable as well? Like your sanity and your common sense to know that someone obviously broke into your house? I don't know, just a thought. That was a joke, please don't cancel me. Lana's eyes flashed suddenly. I was really shocked to see such a sharp demonstration of her skills. What skills exactly? Her eyes flashed, dude. It's not like she did a triple backflip and drop kicked your grandmother into a vat of chocolate. I don't know where the hell that came from, but okay. Of course, I did not rule out the possibility that I had hallucinations. And it could also be just a moon flare that suddenly fell on Lana's face. There you go. Now you're starting to make sense. But those thoughts disappeared when Lana's eyes flashed again. I immediately remembered the last horror movie I saw. She asked me not to scream and pointed to a chair. 
Again, with the weird animation, dude. Why is that animation so weird? Again, who is animating this? But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!